Hey, another video here from the Vancouver Tokyo Man, and uh, this is going to connect to uh, some of the real estate videos I do uh, about Vancouver and Tokyo in general. But uh, what's this is a sort of a really phil philosophical video about uh, the nature of uh, capitalism and uh, living in even North America or Vancouver and. Um, Capitalism, uh, for the most part, is sold to us like uh, that it's a system of freedom or of choice and everything like this. But uh, in a way, it's much more oppressive than that, and that it it accumulates the the capital accumulates at the top and really leaves almost nothing, really nothing at the bottom. So I'm going to try to to uh, try to tie tie this into a person that's lived away from Canada. Uh, for about 30 years and uh, I had a real sense of this in the 1990s because I had come across uh, several incidents in my life and people that sort of I had come across and passed and I had a feeling that I needed to leave Canada uh, to uh, to get ahead uh, of this sort of the ratio that you need uh, uh, of assets in relation uh, to your labor. So if uh, at first when you're a young person, what you have is your youth, your even your beauty, your strength, your uh, your labor almost in the or in the in the workforce, right? However, what's kind of ha what happens really with capitalism is, uh, especially over my lifetime, uh, the relationship over my lifetime when I was younger. The, uh, the the ratio between uh, your labor and the asset of a house was uh, really closer in line. I think like the the house that I really remember that we bought in the Navajo British Columbia, we bought for fifty five thousand, and I think my combined parents' salary at that point might have been sixty thousand. So that was actually with the combined salary was almost a one to one relation between. Uh, having the uh, real estate asset, the basic real estate, it was just a basic home, the basic real estate asset, and uh, one year of, of labor was basically one to one. But uh, since that time, that, re that relationship and that, uh, that ratio has probably, let's see what I, uh, this apartment that I own here in Vancouver is a very simple one. Uh, and I guess there's another unit in the building for sale for uh, $600,000, which is in this soft market is probably a little bit uh, overpriced. But let's just use that for the sake of uh, say that the base unit in this building is 600000 And let's say the two the two person basic uh, income is probably uh, 100000 Let's say it's two. Let's just keep it simple for the math here. 100,000 versus 600,000. So in 1978, when we bought the house, we saw the, the ratio of it being uh, one to one. But now the, the ratio is probably one to six or even one to seven. So uh, the asset to labor ratio has really uh, outstripped the working class. So I think for young people, uh, if you uh, possess uh, nothing uh, or very uh, close to nothing, I think it's really good to escape and leave uh, Vancouver and find something else somewhere else and then possibly come back. One of the reasons that I can stay in Vancouver like this is because I do have something uh, pretty good going on somewhere else so I can kind of be here. So that's kind of my look at uh, the relationship between uh, my labor and a base, a base asset uh, being just a simple house or apartment or something like that. And if your situation uh, in terms of that ratio is a weak one, I think it's good to escape uh, if you can. Like for example, uh, uh, I, like I listed on our site, uh, Smart Property Japan, there's a house in uh, Yokohama, a house in Yokohama. Uh, pretty near the water, uh, right near the Yokohama station, for $220,000, whereas a house in Vancouver right there, right now is 10 times that. So I think that you need to find a place in the world where the ratio is better for you. And also, the ratio of your labor to asset is going to be uh, 
the sort of the highest or the most beneficial coming back toward uh, you and your family. Okay, anyways, another video here by the uh, banker of Tokyo Man. And just talking about the experience of my lifetime between uh, the, the ratio of labor to uh, just the basic asset of a home. And if you do not have the asset, uh, the asset uh, ratio in your favor, I think it's really worth uh, moving on. Okay, cool. Thank you very much.